I want to get into something real quick that is brought to my attention daily and that irritates me daily from the younger generation. Okay, I get this question all the time. I get this question on email, I get it on Instagram, I get it on uh, here on Periscope. Uh, and it's always the same reference. It's uh, It goes like this. Andy, I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to start a business, but um, it's hard. Uh, you know, my parents don't support me. I don't have any money. I don't have any investors. I don't have any uh, support. I don't have a bank loan. I didn't win the lottery. On and on and on and on and on. And the thing is, is that when these people email me, I automatically assume, and I could be wrong, but I automatically go into the mode of like, dude, I'm not even going to answer your question because you don't have what it fucking takes to make it. Because here's the reality. Entrepreneurial mindset is a problem solver. If you listen to the podcast today, you know what I'm talking about. All right. Entrepreneurs are people who look at things and they say, I can do this. Not look at things and find the excuses as to why they can't. We live in the greatest fucking time in the history of earth to be successful, okay? And if you're a young man, a young woman between the ages of 16, 15, and 25, you are at the biggest advantage in the history of earth, okay? And I'm going to explain why in a second. We have fucking air travel. We have fucking internet. We are able to speak like this through technology instantly. Dude, people that were in business 20 years ago, if they wanted to do business, they had to get a fucking letter and they had to write it out and they had to send it to somebody. That letter had to take two days to get there. And then they had to blah, blah, blah and, and communicate back and forth. Or they had to call each other during business hours uh, or at home and they had to be like tied to the wall. Like, yeah, hey man, you know, I'm sitting here at the office. Like, dude, now we're accessible 24 hours a day. We have social media. We have ways to contact hundreds of among thousands of people at any given time. The opportunity to make connections has never been greater, all right? And we have yet, we have young people who have this perspective of growing up in this technology crying and bitching about why they can't do it. Are you fucking kidding me? Dude, when I started my store, there wasn't a social media. When we started with $7, I was living in the back of my fucking store on a mattress that had a piss stain on it from some animal or human. I wanted people to know about me. I couldn't just write a little post on fucking Facebook or make a video that had great content. I had to fucking get in my car or walk heel toe down to the next door's business and the next door's business and the fire stations and the police stations and the hospitals and say, hey, I'm Andy Frisella. Nice to meet you. I have this fucking business over here that I think you'll be able to help or that you, I can help you do this, this, and this. And I meet people one by one by one by one by one. Which ironically is the same way that business is done today, just through different avenues. So when you're young and you're one of these people who's been brought up in social media and you look around in the internet and all this shit, you have no fucking clue how good you have it. You just don't. You have an ultimate fucking opportunity in front of you to make something happen for yourself. Okay, and the other thing you need to realize is that just because you don't have any money, that's that's a great thing for you. And because let me tell you why this is a good thing. When you don't have any money, you are forced to be creative. You are forced to come up with ideas. You are forced to do the fucking work. Just because you don't have a fucking million dollars or a hundred thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars doesn't mean you could start a business or can't start a business. It means that you have to get creative. And the best thing that you'll ever have as a business owner, a young business entrepreneur, is lack of funds because it forces you to get fucking creative, which forces you to think. All right. And when you think, it's just like working your muscles. When you think hard enough and you think long enough and you don't have the, the money just to write a check for something, you are in a position now where you're having to think harder than your competition, which means ultimately you're going to be more creative, come up with more ideas because you can't spend your way out of situations. Get it? Lack of resources is your ultimate advantage. And if you don't understand what I just said, go back and rewatch what I just said until you understand it. All right. Lack of resources is your ultimate fucking advantage. 
don't fucking cry to me and bitch to me or write me a fucking email about how you don't have, you know, rich parents or you don't have a bank or you don't have, I didn't have any of that shit either. So when you bitch to me about it, I look at you and I say, you don't have what it fucking takes because real entrepreneurs make it happen either way. You don't have the money, go out and cut grass, go out and bartend, go out and sell fucking snow cones, do whatever the fuck you have to do to get it, period. But the point is guys, you guys have to understand that we live in ultimate opportunity land right now. There's more opportunity than there ever has been for everybody. And here's another thing you young people, 15 and 25, gotta understand. Most of your peers who you're competing against have no social skills. They grew up on the internet, they grew up on video games, they don't know how to shake somebody's hand and say, hey, nice to meet you and look them in the fucking eye and have interpersonal relationship skills. So whenever you can have those skills, if you could develop those skills amongst your own person, you're at a tremendous advantage. You have people, you have far less people in that generation that want to be truly successful than what I had or what other generations had. So like, dude, if you can fucking stand up and make yourself something, it's far easier to be successful right now for you than it ever has been. So I don't want to, don't write me a fucking email telling me how hard you have it because I'm going to laugh at you. Period. You're being a pussy.